Hey everyone, this is going to be a follow-up video uh, to my last video where it was showing the stock Suzuki Savage. So just going to show you a couple things that I've done so far to her. Uh, as you can see, I put drag bars on and uh, with the stock mirrors on the drag bars, you really couldn't see past your shoulder. So I had to put uh, the bar end mirrors on and uh, I really like the way it looks. I think it gives it more of like a sporty... I don't know, more of a sporty feel. I mean, even riding it totally changes the feel. Uh, it's real, you're not super hunched over, but it's more of an aggressive, you know, an aggressive ride. Uh, I took the sissy bar, the back pad off. Gives it kind of more streamline. What else? I uh, took the front fender off uh, only because after I put the new tire on, I don't know if you could see this, but uh, I kept hearing this chirping and I thought it was the belt rubbing on the side there, but it uh, turns out it was actually the front tire rubbing up against uh, the fender. So uh, I decided to take the fender just off. I uh, got a little uh, rubber, or <laughs> not rubber, uh, leather pouch. Keep some stuff in. And that's really about it as far as like accessories go. Um, I have a phone mount right here. Works really nice. Uh, I think it's a RAM mount. Uh, my little GoPro mount here. What else? What else? I know she's a little dirty. Got to clean her up. Ah, I put a, uh, a Harley uh, Dyna Wide Glide muffler on it. And I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to import the videos into this video, but. Um, she was shooting flames the other night, uh, so I had to adjust the idle, and I think that pretty much fixed it. So yeah, that's it so far. I also did a uh, header wrap on it. Black header wrap going down to the pipe. So that's about it. I'd like to find another tool pouch and cover here. Uh, that's been missing since, since I, it was inherited to me. So yeah, that's about it, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I push start this because there's a little trick I learned. So first, make sure it's on. Put it in first gear. Now, you'll feel, you'll feel it rock backwards. All right, make sure the kickstand's out too. But you'll feel it rock backwards. You can even push it forwards while the clutch is out and you'll feel it almost hesitate. But rock it all the way back until it locks into place. Make sure it's on run. And right before you let the clutch out, hold the starter button in because it'll still engage. It'll engage the uh, decompression solenoid. And then we push.